In this video, we're going to talk about our Mr. Ant task, which is our visual spatial working memory task. In this task, a child is required to remember a number of different spatial locations in their mind. The child is introduced to a cartoon Mr. Ant, and they're told that he likes to play tricks. The way that he plays tricks is by placing stickers on different parts of his body. Now you can't touch Mr. Ant when he has his stickers on because he's scared you're going to take them away. So what you need to do is remember where those stickers are, and when Mr. Ant comes back without any stickers, point to where those stickers were. The task increases from level 1, with one sticker, all the way up to level 8, with 8 stickers on Mr. Ant. Although rather than continue to the point of frustration, the game stops whenever there are three incorrect responses at the same level. As highlighted in our intro video, the role of the data collector is to ensure a child's engagement and motivation in the task. Enthusiasm is contagious, so be enthusiastic. What we don't want to do is sit back and let the iPad do all of the work. At the same time, we don't want to overhelp. We want this to be the child's best possible performance, but it needs to be the child's performance. So here are some general tips and tricks to help you in administration of this task. If you're unfamiliar to the child, try and build rapport beforehand. Be enthusiastic yourself. And don't overhelp. For example, in the Mr. Ant task, you can reiterate the overall instructions, but you wouldn't want to say the number or location of stickers. Well done. Is that all of them? Oh, I did, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? In our own research, we found that children enjoy playing these games, but we've also learned to expect the unexpected. So we thought we'd give you some insight into some of the things that we've encountered and how we address them. The instructions are provided in the game, but sometimes it's more engaging for the child if the data collector delivers them. To do this, you could turn the sound off, but you need to make sure that you are very familiar with the instructions so that critical aspects aren't missed. The goal is, at the end of the practice, the child knows what is expected of them as the game proceeds. This is Mr. Ant. Mr. Ant likes to trick people by putting stickers on his body. Okay, we can't touch Mr. Ant when he has the stickers on. We have to wait till he takes the stickers off, okay? Then we have to try and remember where Mr. Ant put the stickers. Can we do that? It is. Sometimes he'll put it on his toe. <laughs> Sometimes he puts it on his nose. Would you put a sticker on your nose? No, <laughs> it's a bit silly. Another thing that we sometimes see is a child trying to find all the possible stickers on Mr. Ant. For the next trial, remind them that they only need to remember the stickers that they see. So this time, I just want you to show me where these stickers are, okay? Can you see them? Yeah, can you remember all those? Okay, ready? Look really closely. So you, so you remember? Keep remembering, it's gonna come. Those ones you remember? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good job. And on rare occasions, we see children using their fingers to try and remember the locations. What we want them to do is use their mind. Remember, we can't touch the sticker. We have to wait until it takes it off. We have to use our minds to remember, okay? Just not our hands. We created each of the apps for easy data collection. There are a number of different options or ways that you can get access to that data. If your preference is to use a database, the apps can submit data straight to a user-defined database, and we've provided some sample source code to help you develop this. We've also provided the contact of our own database developer who can create a database from the model he created for us. If your preference is to get the data by email, specify that in the iMenu, and you can get the results sent to a user-specified email address. Or, if the apps are only being used for brief screening or assessment purposes, you can use the score that's provided on the end screen. However, we'd caution that this score is derived from unprocessed data, so we'd not advise using the score for more formalized assessment or research purposes. Thank you for your interest in the Early Years Toolbox. We hope you have as much fun using it as we had developing it and using it ourselves.